Hello, curious minds. Ever wondered if we might be living inside a black hole? Stick around as we unravel this mind-blowing theory that could change everything you know about the universe. Don't miss out on the cosmic secrets waiting to be discovered. Black holes are one of the most fascinating objects in the universe. They are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Imagine a giant vacuum cleaner in space, sucking up everything that gets too close. That's kind of what a black hole is like. They pull in gas, dust, and even entire stars that venture too near. Black holes form when massive stars collapse at the end of their lives. The star's core collapses in on itself, squeezing matter into an incredibly small space. This creates a region of immense density and gravity. The boundary around a black hole beyond which nothing can escape is called the event horizon. Once something crosses the event horizon, it's gone forever. It's like falling into a bottomless pit. Black holes can have a significant impact on their surroundings. Their immense gravitational pull can affect the orbits of nearby stars and even strip away material from them. As matter spirals into a black hole, it forms an accretion disk, heating up and releasing tremendous amounts of energy. Some black holes also emit powerful jets of high-energy particles and radiation, which can influence entire galaxies. When black holes merge, they create ripples in space-time known as gravitational waves, which can be detected across the universe. Supermassive black holes found at the centers of galaxies play a crucial role in the formation and evolution of galaxies themselves. Their gravitational influence helps shape the structure of galaxies and can regulate star formation. In essence, black holes are not just cosmic vacuum cleaners. They are fundamental to the dynamics and evolution of the universe. Black holes are incredibly massive, but they can be surprisingly small. These cosmic enigmas are formed when massive stars collapse under their own gravity, creating a point of infinite density known as a singularity. Some black holes are only a few times the mass of our sun, known as stellar mass black holes. They are born from the remnants of supernova explosions, but others are billions of times more massive. These are the supermassive black holes which can be found at the heart of galaxies. These supermassive black holes are thought to reside at the centers of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way. They play a crucial role in the formation and evolution of galaxies. Despite their name, black holes aren't actually empty holes. They are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. They are objects with mass just like stars and planets. However, their mass is compressed into an incredibly small volume. However, the mass of a black hole is concentrated into such a small space that it creates an incredibly strong gravitational pull. This pull is so intense that it warps the very fabric of space-time. This intense gravity warps the fabric of space-time around a black hole, creating a region known as the event horizon, beyond which nothing can return. Imagine a bowling ball on a trampoline. This is a simple analogy to help visualize the concept. The bowling ball represents a black hole and the trampoline represents space-time. The heavier the ball, the deeper the dip. Just like the bowling ball creates a dip in the trampoline, a black hole creates a dent in space-time. This dent is what causes the gravitational pull that draws in everything around it. Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity provides the framework for understanding this phenomenon. According to his equations, massive objects cause space-time to curve, and this curvature is what we perceive as gravity. One of the most fascinating effects of this curvature is gravitational lensing where light from distant stars is bent around a black hole, creating a distorted, magnified image. When black holes merge, they create ripples in space-time known as gravitational waves. These waves were first detected by LIGO in 2015, confirming a major prediction of Einstein's theory. The immense gravitational pull of black holes can also tear apart stars that venture too close, a process known as spaghettification. The star is stretched and compressed into long, thin shapes as it spirals into the black hole. The event horizon marks the boundary beyond which nothing can escape the black hole's gravity. It's a point of no return where the escape velocity exceeds the speed of light. Interestingly, black holes aren't entirely black. Stephen Hawking theorized that they emit a faint radiation, now known as Hawking radiation, due to quantum effects near the event horizon. 
Over incredibly long timescales, this radiation can cause black holes to lose mass and eventually evaporate, a process that challenges our understanding of physics at the intersection of general relativity and quantum mechanics. Black holes are not just cosmic vacuum cleaners. They are key players in the universe's grand tapestry, influencing the formation of stars, galaxies, and even the very fabric of space-time itself. The event horizon is the defining feature of a black hole. It marks the boundary beyond which nothing can escape the immense gravitational pull. It's the point of no return, beyond which gravity is so strong that nothing can escape. This includes stars, planets, and even entire galaxies that stray too close. Not even light, which travels at the fastest speed possible, can outrun the gravitational pull of a black hole once it crosses the event horizon. This is why black holes appear completely dark. Think of the event horizon as a one-way membrane. It allows matter and radiation to enter, but nothing can escape once it has crossed this boundary. You can pass through it going in, but you can never come back out. This makes black holes some of the most mysterious and fascinating objects in the universe. Inside the event horizon, all paths lead towards the singularity at the center of the black hole. The singularity is a point where gravity is infinitely strong and space-time curves infinitely. The size of the event horizon depends on the mass of the black hole. The more massive the black hole, the larger its event horizon. A more massive black hole has a larger event horizon. This means it can capture objects from a greater distance. For example, the event horizon of the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, known as Sagittarius A, is about 24 million kilometers across. This immense size gives it a gravitational influence over a vast region of space. The event horizon forms when a massive star collapses under its own gravity, creating a region where the escape velocity exceeds the speed of light. Time behaves differently near the event horizon. Due to extreme gravitational time dilation, time appears to slow down for an observer falling into the black hole compared to someone far away. Objects approaching the event horizon experience intense tidal forces, stretching them into long, thin shapes in a process known as spaghettification. Interestingly, black holes are not entirely black. They emit a faint radiation known as Hawking radiation, caused by quantum effects near the event horizon. Over incredibly long timescales, this radiation can cause black holes to lose mass and eventually evaporate, although this process is extremely slow for large black holes. In binary systems, black holes can pull matter from a companion star, forming an accretion disk. This matter heats up and emits X-rays as it spirals into the black hole. The collision and merger of black holes can produce gravitational waves, ripples in space-time that can be detected by observatories on Earth. Some black holes also emit powerful jets of particles at nearly the speed of light, which can extend for thousands of light years into space. These jets are thought to be powered by the magnetic fields around the black hole. At the center of every black hole lies a singularity, a point of infinite density and zero volume. It's where all the matter that falls into a black hole gets crushed into an infinitely small point. Our current understanding of physics breaks down at the singularity. Imagine trying to squeeze all the matter in the universe into a single point. That's what happens at the singularity of a black hole. It's a place where the laws of physics as we know them no longer apply. We don't yet know what happens at the singularity. Some scientists believe that singularities could be gateways to other universes or dimensions, but these ideas are still highly speculative. One of the biggest challenges in understanding singularities is the need for a theory of quantum gravity. Quantum gravity aims to merge general relativity, which describes the large-scale structure of the universe, with quantum mechanics, which governs the smallest particles. Near the singularity, the gravitational forces are so extreme that quantum effects become significant. However, our current models can't fully describe these conditions, leading to a breakdown in our understanding. Until we develop a complete theory of quantum gravity, the true nature of singularities will remain one of the greatest mysteries in physics. This expansion was first observed in the 1920s by astronomer Edwin Hubble. Hubble's groundbreaking work showed that galaxies are moving away from us and from each other at speeds proportional to their distance. The expansion of the universe implies that it must have started from a very small, dense state. 
This idea leads us to the concept of the Big Bang. This initial state is often referred to as the Big Bang. The Big Bang was not an explosion in space, but rather an expansion of space itself. The Big Bang theory is the prevailing cosmological model for the universe. It explains not only the expansion, but also the formation of fundamental particles and the synthesis of light elements. According to the Big Bang theory, the universe has been expanding and cooling ever since it began about 13.8 billion years ago. This cooling allowed for the formation of atoms, stars, and eventually galaxies. We can observe this expansion by looking at the light from distant galaxies, which is stretched or redshifted as it travels through expanding space. This redshift is a key piece of evidence supporting the Big Bang theory in the ongoing expansion of the universe. But what drives this expansion? Scientists believe that a mysterious force called dark energy is responsible. Dark energy makes up about 70% of the universe and acts as a repulsive force, accelerating the expansion of the universe. The observable universe is the portion of the entire universe that we can see or detect from Earth. It spans about 93 billion light years in diameter. But beyond this, the universe continues to expand, possibly infinitely. The cosmic microwave background radiation is another crucial piece of evidence for the Big Bang and cosmic expansion. This faint glow, left over from the early universe, provides a snapshot of the universe when it was just 380,000 years old. As the universe continues to expand, galaxies will move further apart and the universe will become colder and darker. The ultimate fate of the universe remains one of the biggest questions in cosmology, with theories ranging from a big freeze to a big rip. The concept of cosmic expansion not only helps us understand the past and present of our universe, but also gives us a glimpse into its possible future. The journey of discovery continues as we strive to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. Now let's get to the mind-blowing part. Some physicists have proposed the intriguing idea that our entire universe might be located inside a black hole. This idea might sound crazy at first, but it's based on some interesting theoretical considerations. Remember how we talked about space-time being like a trampoline? Well, some physicists believe that the expansion of our universe could be similar to the way space-time expands inside a black hole. Imagine our universe as a tiny bubble expanding outward within the vast, unknowable expanse of apparent black hole. From our perspective, the universe appears to be everything, but we could just be a small part of a much larger structure. This theory opens up fascinating debates among scientists. If our universe is inside a black hole, what does that mean for our understanding of physics? One implication is that the event horizon of a black hole could be a boundary between different universes. This could suggest a multiverse, where each black hole contains a different universe with its own unique properties. The idea also ties into quantum mechanics, where the behavior of particles at the smallest scales could be influenced by the structure of the black hole. General relativity and quantum mechanics might need to be reconciled to fully understand this concept. Researchers are continually exploring these ideas, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. As we learn more, we might uncover even more astonishing truths about the nature of our universe and its place within the cosmos. Is there any evidence to support the idea that we live inside a black hole? The truth is, it's a very difficult hypothesis to test. However, there are some intriguing hints. For example, the total mass and energy of the observable universe seem to be roughly balanced in a way that's consistent with the conditions inside a black hole. Additionally, the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is thought to be the afterglow of the Big Bang, shows some patterns that might be explained by this theory. Recent discoveries have added more layers to this fascinating idea. Gravitational waves, ripples in space-time caused by massive cosmic events, have provided new insights into the nature of black holes. Observations from advanced telescopes have revealed more about the behavior of matter and energy near black holes offering clues that could support this hypothesis. Ongoing research is also exploring the possibility that black holes could be gateways to other universes or dimensions. Some scientists propose that the event horizon of a black hole might act as a boundary between our universe and another, potentially explaining some of the anomalies we observe in cosmic data. 
It's important to remember that the idea of our universe being inside a black hole is still very speculative. It's a topic of ongoing research and debate within the scientific community, and we need more data and observations to confirm or refute this hypothesis. As our technology and understanding of the cosmos advance, we may get closer to unraveling this cosmic mystery. Living inside a black hole, what does it mean? If we do live inside a black hole, what would that mean for us? The good news is that it probably wouldn't change our everyday lives. The laws of physics as we experience them would likely remain the same. However, it would have profound implications for our understanding of the universe and our place within it. It would mean that our universe is not the only one and that there might be a hierarchy of universes nested within each other like cosmic Russian dolls. It's a mind-boggling concept to be sure, but it's one that scientists are taking seriously. The search for evidence to support or refute this hypothesis is one of the most exciting frontiers in modern cosmology. Philosophically, living inside a black hole challenges our perception of reality and existence. It raises questions about the nature of consciousness and our place in the cosmos. Existentially, it forces us to confront the idea that our universe might be just one of many, each with its own unique properties and laws. This perspective can be both humbling and awe-inspiring, as it suggests a vast interconnected web of realities. Ultimately, the idea of living inside a black hole invites us to expand our minds and explore the deeper mysteries of existence. It's a journey that blends science, philosophy, and the human spirit's quest for understanding. The universe is full of wonders that we are only just beginning to understand and explore. Black holes stand as a testament to the power of gravity and the boundless capacity of the cosmos to surprise and amaze us all. The question of whether we live inside a black hole is a profound one, and it's a testament to the human desire to comprehend the vastness of the universe and our place within it. While we may never know for sure, the search for answers to these fundamental questions will continue to drive scientific exploration and inspire awe and wonder for generations to come. Among the universe's biggest mysteries are the nature of dark matter and dark energy, which together make up about 95% of the universe's total mass energy content. The cosmic microwave background radiation provides a snapshot of the early universe, offering clues about its origin, structure, and eventual fate. Theories such as the multiverse suggest that our universe might be just one of many, each with its own unique laws of physics and constants. Gravitational waves, ripples in space-time caused by massive cosmic events, have opened a new window into observing the universe and understanding its most violent phenomena. Black holes with their immense gravitational pull play a crucial role in the formation and evolution of galaxies, influencing the distribution of stars and the dynamics of cosmic structures. As we delve deeper into these mysteries, we continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge driven by curiosity and the quest to understand the cosmos. The journey to uncover the universe's secrets is ongoing, and each discovery brings us one step closer to comprehending the grand tapestry of existence. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel, give it a like, and leave a comment below. Your support helps us bring you more fascinating content about the universe.